Good morning, everybody. We're going to finish up 12.2, actually 11.2 today. We talked yesterday about going from moles to moles in the reaction. Today we're going to go from moles to grams. So let's look at this reaction. You're taking um, sodium and reacting it with chlorine gas to produce sodium chloride. And we're told um, 1.25 moles of chlorine are reacting. So that's just been given to us in the problem. And the question is, how many grams of NaCl would be created if you use 1.25 moles of chlorine in the reaction? So we need to go from moles of chlorine to moles of NaCl and then grams of NaCl. It's going to be a two-step process. So yesterday we learned how to go from moles to moles within a, within a reaction. So we'll start with doing that. We'll go from moles of chlorine to moles of NaCl using the molar ratio. So we're told that we're using 1.25 moles of Cl2. We want to know how many moles of NaCl will be produced. So the ratio would have to have chlorine in the bottom. And there's no number in front, so that's a one. One mole of chlorine for every two moles of NaCl. We'll cancel out chlorine. 1.25 times two. We get 2.50 moles of NaCl. So yesterday we'd be done at this point, and that's all we did yesterday. But now we're going from moles to grams, so it's additional step. So we would take 2.5 moles of NaCl and multiply it by its molar mass to go from moles to grams, like you've done before. So you go to the periodic table, you look up Sodium's molar mass is 22.9, chlorine 4.5. Add those together, you get a molar mass of 58.44 grams per mole of NaCl. So we do 2.5 times 58.44, we get 146 grams of NaCl. So that's how we convert between moles to grams. It's a combination of what you learned yesterday and then um, the week before. Any questions about that? Okay, so we're gonna do one more example. So in this example, we'll just use the same. Um, no, actually we'll do this one instead. Let's look at this one. So we have NH4, NO3, that's ammonium nitrate, that's a fertilizer. And it can decompose into N2O and H2O. And if we have 25 grams of fertilizer, the question is how many grams of water would be produced? So in this case, we're given grams of NH4NO3. We would need to go from grams to moles of NH4NO3. So that's always gonna be our first step. If we're, always, if we're given moles, or if we're given grams, we always wanna to go to moles first and relate moles to moles of something else. So we're going to convert from grams of NH4NO3 to moles of NH4NO3, and then go to moles of what we want. In this case, we want to get water. So we're gonna convert between moles of NH4NO3 to moles of water. And the last step we go from moles of H2O to grams of H2O.
Okay, so that's the plan to convert from grams of NH403 to grams of water. And we're given 25 grams of NH403. We're going to go to moles. We look at the molar mass. Nitrogen is 14. Hydrogen is 1.01 .01 times 4. Add that all up. And that would be equal to 80.04 grams in one mole of NH4 and O3. So we do 25 divided by 80.04, and we get 0.312. So that's 0.312 moles of NH4 and O3. That's our first step. Now we want to go from moles of NH4 and O3 to moles of H2O. Okay, so the molar ratio in here, there's no number in front here. There's a two in front of here. So it's a one to two ratio. We want to cancel out NH4 and O3, so that goes in the bottom. So we do 0.312 times two. We get 0.624. So now we're at this step where we converted to moles of water. Now we have to convert from moles to grams of water. So we'll use the molar mass of H2O. Um, hydrogen is 1.01 .01 times 2, and then oxygen is 16. So that gives us 18.02 grams in one mole of H2O. The grams cancel out. So we do 0 0.624. Actually, I'm sorry, I did that wrong. What did I do there? Oh, okay, so, sorry, we don't have grams yet. This should be moles. I knew something wasn't right with that. Let's go back for a second. So this should be moles of H2O, not grams. Okay, so 0.624 moles of H2O. So you want to cancel out the moles. So one mole on the denominator, 18.02 grams on the numerator. Moles will cancel out. So we do 0 0.624 times 18.02. And that gives us 11.2 grams of H2O. So that's how you go from grams to grams of something else in the reaction. You have to, so it's gonna be a three-step process where you go from grams to moles, moles to moles, moles to grams. Any questions about that? Okay, so for homework today, it's just two problems. I want you to work on page 377, uh, question 14, and then go on to page 378 and do question 21. I'll write them on the board too. So question 14 and 21.